Hello everyone. This video demonstrates syndactyly release in a case of simple complete syndactyly. So this is the patient. We will begin with the markings. So important bony landmarks are first marked. We are marking the metacarpal heads and the other bony landmarks. The rectangular flap over the dorsum is designed from the metacarpal head to two third length of the proximal phalanx. So we have approximately marked the two third length of the proximal phalanx, and this is the rectangular flap which is being marked. Now the dorsal zigzag incision begins at the apex of the dorsal flap and extends in a crisscross manner till the tip of the finger. Now the Palmer zigzag incision is designed in an opposite manner, like a mirror image to the dorsal zigzag incision. So this is how the proximal Palmer incision is marked. There will be a small T at the desired level of the web space, so that we can provide a proper location and depth of the web space. So our goal is to create a normal web space and improve the appearance of the involved fingers. Now we begin by elevating the flaps over our markings. The post-op scar care and massage are initiated.